Uh, hello, everyone. So my name is uh, Dr. Tuhin, and I'm a tech entrepreneur. So before beginning, let me ask every one of you, how many of you present here have a website or a blog? So raise your hand. So any personal website or blog or any other platform apart from any social medias? OK, so I can see uh, quite a number of hands compared to the audience size here. So the thing is that the digital revolution is evolving at a faster rate. So like as per several statistics, like almost 200 websites are being made live every single minute. Now the thing is that this has led to the consecutive growth of the competitive era in the digital field. So like several websites are coming online, several, uh, like several businesses are being dependent on the mode of digital transformation, uh, whether it be from any vertical, uh, from B2B, from healthcare, from uh, like medical care benefits, from medical industries, even from the banking, real estates, and much more. So in, in fact, uh, it has been estimated that by the end of 2020, the overall US market would be near about 3.4 trillion US dollars and an average of 19 percentage growth by the 2026. So the growth is huge. Now, this has led to the rise of much more competition because everyone wants to stand out in the crowd. Like everyone's purpose is to make sure that they are quietly visible uh, towards the right audience in the internet and uh, the competition is, get, is getting much more tougher. Now the problem is that the current dynamics which which uh, people uses for enhancing their digital growth is limited to a certain level because uh, they can only track up to a certain end goal, uh, maybe which are very limited. Uh, they can barely track any, any certain user dynamics. So this is where artificial intelligence comes into the play, or to be most precise, uh, semantic engineering or natural language processing. Now, with the help of the introduction of artificial intelligence in the digital transformation, business owners or entrepreneurs like you and me, so we can get much more data out there in the crowd. So now, with the help of artificial intelligence, uh, website owners and entrepreneurs can calculate the end-to-end -end journey, can focus more on the automation, can even track the business cycle, the conversion journey, the user behavior. Uh, and one of the most uh, sensitive part is that with the help of AI, people can actually calculate the customer journey from the start to the end from, uh, in fact, even calculate the entire funnel of growth, entire funnel of conversation uh, from head to toe. And most important part, they can actually calculate the user dynamics and can really measure the user sentiment on a broader level. For, for example, like suppose uh, if I give you an essay to write about uh, maybe your favorite food. So suppose uh, like, like let's say like 100 of the people writes about an essay of uh, your favorite food. Now, if you want to check the relevance, like who's article is most relevant. So this is where the semantic science would come into the play, where people would actually need certain data to actually measure the relevancy signal. And this is just one out of the several multi-thousand tasks that can be made possible with the help of artificial intelligence. So uh, and uh, like one more interesting factor is that if artificial intelligence can be used on the digital transformation journey, for anyone out there in the business or on the digital hemisphere, then both the data, the collective decision models, the technology, all of them can be blended well and properly by the using, by the utilization of the technology from AI, because AI really keeps a track of the end-to-end -end journey and really gives a proper momentum if you are reliant in the aging industry of the digital growth. And I think after COVID, Various people might know that the digital have really helped various small businesses and uh, startups, uh, even the uh, Kirana stores owners as well with the digital revolution. So my key takeaway is that the people should, like, like still there is time. So for entrepreneurs or people who are, uh, like, who are actually affirmative that they want to take their business into the whole new level. So this is a high time where you, you guys should work on a proper framework and bring the digital transformation by 
uh, utilizing newer technology, understanding the user semantics, the growth dynamics, and I think artificial intelligence uh, is just getting started. Uh, various successful people like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and various tech companies, so they, they, they all are investing heavily on artificial intelligence, and this is the right time where people can actually take an added benefit of that to age over the competition in this digital revolution. So my key conclusion is that uh, like this is the high time, like uh, adequate yourself or your business with the changing uh, algorithms or with the changing need for a technological upgrade because like the world is really edging fast towards the digital vertical and the competition is really high than ever. So the old school method, the non-proactive ways, the bread and butter strategy would not work. In fact, this has already stopped working for competitive niches like the banking, the real estates, and several more. So this is a high time where right framework for, a, for the right business and the digital revolution has begun. So I would conclude that like revolutionizing the digital transformation with the help of artificial intelligence is something uh, which every one of you should start from right now. And one of the obvious thing I get to hear that AI is a rocket science. People uh, need a lot of uh, fancy degrees or something like that. But the thing is that that is not. Uh, there are several open source natural language processing uh, like equipments out there in the world which people can use. People can use that to learn themselves, get themselves adequated. And end of the day, the purpose of AI is to make the system smoother and make automation happen. So if, if there is a right automation, then uh, a lot of business dynamics would already improve. Likewise, by, depending, by getting less dependency on uh, human side, less errors, and a full proof strategy. So I would like to conclude myself by saying that uh, technology is evolving at a faster rate. And this is the high time where entrepreneurs or business owners should be adapted to this changing environment. Thank you.